This is Andreasen. Thank you, Chair. I have said this in this committee many times before, and I will repeat, that this charge is giving on the past, not on the future. Uh, taxpayers want to know and ask us to approve the management of their money in the past, not in the future. And I think the Parliament and we, this committee, is now trapped uh, in its own trap, in the trap it has created for itself. Uh, in the past, we have been postponing this charge for other agencies and uh, working on a uh, and on an action plan to improve the situation, but the situation will only be improved in the future, not in the past. So we sh this contra natura process of this parliament that postpones this charge and waits for promises for improvement for the future simply doesn't work because it's only promises or action plans what we get for the future. And today we are trapped in this situation. I don't know why people are so embarrassed at this point in time, talking about the credibility of the agencies, when we have followed this procedure in the past. Last year, we did the same with CPOL. You know, we, gave, we postponed this charge, and we gave this charge eight months or six months later on the basis of the promises of the future, of how well the new management was doing in, in, in this agency, not on the failures of the past. And I'm sorry, in any organization in the world, you approve their accounts, you approve the management on the basis of what they have performed in the past, not in the future. We continue with this procedure. We will never get uh, to be respected by the taxpayer. We are a laughing stock, and we are more of a laughing stock when we have people, colleagues in this parliament, that are able to write to those agencies and tell them that we MEPs don't have the right to put the questions. I think we need to reflect on why, how, how we are behaving. Thank you. Now, of course, they should uh, do the job. But I would point out th that it's not particularly useful in a discharge procedure to get bogged down into minutiae particularly if time is limited.